Microsoft XNA was introduced in March 2004 at the Game Developers Conference. It is a freeware set of video game development tools for the Xbox 360, Windows, and Windows Phone. It is based on the .NET framework and aimed at developers interested in writing more lightweight video games with the first preview build being released March 14, 2006. XNA Game Studio Express was first released in August 2006, aimed primarily at indie game developers and hobbyists. It is available as a free starter kit for Windows, but if you wanted to compile your games for Xbox 360, you needed to pay an annual fee of $100 for a Microsoft XNA Creator Club membership, which is now a defunct service. In December 2007, XNA Game Studio 2.0 was released. It has some improvements like the ability to work with all versions of Video Studio 2005, including the free Video Studio 2005 Express Edition. Demo Scene or Demo Parties are computer art festivals that focus on making demos. The purpose of the demo is to show off the musical skills, programming skills, and visual effects skills. Demo Scene's origins can be traced back to the 1970s and coexist with software cracking, where crackers would remove copy protection and replace intro screens with their own called Crackros. They soon started competitions including 64K intro, demo, fast graphics, and fast music. Their biggest festival, Assembly, held the biggest and most popular competitions. In 2007, a few groups entered for the first time a Xbox 360 competition. They were all made in XNA 2.0 with groups such as Conspiracy, Synthetics, Time Scratchers, and a couple others. With Synthetics, Microdots went in second place overall at Assembly 2007. In 2008 and 2009, we would get XNA Game Studio 3.0 and 3.1, which now allowed for users to target the Zune. Zune is a multimedia device for podcasts, music, TV, and games made in XNA. It wasn't until September 2010 that XNA Game Studio 4.0 released, adding new features like Visual Studio 2010 integration and Windows Phone platform development, including 3D hardware acceleration. The following year, XNA 4.0 Refresh came out, adding support for Windows Phone 7.5 and Visual Basic. In early 2013, Microsoft announced that they would no longer be pushing any new updates for XNA, stating, XNA Game Studio remains a supported tool set for developing games for Xbox 360, Windows, and Windows Phone. Many developers have found success creating Xbox Live indie games using XNA, however there are no plans for future versions of the XNA product. Here are a couple popular games that have came out with XNA. Elo Milo. Elo Milo is a puzzle game that released in November 2010 by Microsoft Game Studios and has received positive reviews. And Terraria. Terraria was developed by ReLogic and came out in May 2011 and amassed a lot of popularity by selling over 35 million copies by the end of 2020. It is an action-adventure 2D sandbox game. So now let's set up an XNA 4.0 developer environment. I'll be using my modded Xbox 360 and a Windows 7 computer. To install XNA Game Studio and to begin making games it's pretty straightforward. Nowadays you can no longer buy a Creators Club license for your retail Xbox 360, so you will have to rely on a modded Xbox 360 or an XDK if you want to do this. To start you will have to be on Windows 7 or earlier like XP. Windows 10 is missing resources required for XNA. For XNA 4.0, you will first need to install Visual Studio 2010. I am using Visual Studio 2010 Professional, but you can even use Express. After that is installed, go ahead and run the XNA 4.0 setup file. You will be prompted to agree, just say yes, and then select the option to allow firewall bypass. This is necessary to get your Xbox to connect. Now install the XNA FX 4.0 redistro file. 
you will not have XNA Game Studio 4.0 installed. XNA Game Studio isn't like Unity or Godot with its own editor. It is all done within Visual Studio. At this point we can start developing, but in order to deploy to our Xbox we will need to set it up. With either Neighborhood or USB Stick and XEX menu, copy over the XNA Game Studio Connect to your Xbox. This is a patched copy that bypasses the Content Creator membership. Before you open the program, make sure you are signed in with the profile. Head over to your games afterwards and you will see XNA Studio Connect. Go ahead and open that. This will be the first time you open XNA Game Studio Connect, so you will need to pair it to your computer. My Xbox is connected to Wi-Fi, but you can even use Ethernet, so just make sure your Xbox is connected to the same network as your computer. On your computer, go to Start, All Programs, Microsoft XNA Game Studio 4.0, and click on the Game Studio Device Center. Click Add Device and it will ask you for a name. You can choose any name you want. Then on the next screen it will ask for a key. This is the key that your Xbox 360 is showing on screen. So go ahead and type that in and then hit continue. If all goes well you will see your Xbox 360 in the box below. If it asks you to set your device as default, choose yes. Over on your Xbox you will now see the name that you chose and it will also say waiting for PC connection. This means that you are set up and ready to start developing. To start developing you need to open Visual Studio, click New Project, under Installed Templates scroll down to XNA Game Studio 4.0 and click on it once. In the middle you will see a few options, we want to choose the option Xbox 360 Game. Under that give your project a name and choose a location to save the project to and hit OK. It will open up to a script. For the sake of the video I won't go over how to program but let's add some code and see what happens. We can see with just this little bit of code we can easily get some movement and from here we can expand from it. XNA was really easy to develop for back in the day but it was very lightweight and it's a shame to see the original XNA discontinued. After you made a game with this you can pack it and share it with friends if they had a creator's club license as well. You can also have sold it on the Xbox Marketplace. It was a really cool idea for its time and I think it helped make the indie's dev scene a lot bigger. It's great to see projects like Mono Game and FNA still holding up to this day and creators are taking advantage of it. Nowadays on Xbox Series X you can develop in Unity with your retail Xbox for a one-time $20 fee, but I think Microsoft is phasing out the UWP platform so I'm unsure if Unity will be supported by this method in the coming years. That's it for this video, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for my next video where we will try out XNA 2.0 and play with some of the demo scene demos ourselves.